The former director of Ant-Man, who worked on the film for about eight years, has recently revealed that there's not really a whole lot of bad blood between him and Kevin Feige. He's talked with Marvel Studios, and he's still friends with them. So let's talk about some of the hopes that fans have, and maybe this being a hint towards something down the road. So if you've kept up with Edgar Wright's movies, you probably agree with me that he's a damn good director. Probably one of the uh, more unique visionaries in Hollywood. It certainly has a unique style to him. And when you see an Edgar Wright movie, you understand why he has fans. Now, sometimes it can be argued that, uh, well, his fans and his films aren't exactly fans of the mainstream. And you definitely see that because if we look at some of his best work, for example, Scott Pilgrim, that flopped with general audiences, but all us nerds love it. So again, he has a, a unique taste, and he hasn't been sort of a, able to break into the mainstream mold, if you will. When it came to Ant-Man, he worked on that movie ever since Marvel Studios became a thing, and he wanted to go in different directions. We know that there was somewhat of a falling out because he didn't really want to connect it to the MCU, Fans were outraged because fans are outraged. No matter what Peyton Reed does, he can't ever live up to it. And he's hated because because Edgar Wright fans are kind of like Snyder fans. Just, just not as vocal or in your face about it. So it was good news when we recently found out that Edgar Wright said there's not really bad blood between him or Kevin Feige or Marvel Studios. And that, you know, down the road, we never know. We never know. Because as he said, he reached out to Kevin Feige for a story and Feige was more than willing to and happy to talk to him again and hear from him and talk about some of the things that are happening between, uh, you know, the different sides of where they left off. Because Edgar Wright clearly has his own, you know, ideas and style and Marvel Studios has their own. So you never really know. And um, it's one of these things where... I think a lot of people would want Edgar Wright to come back and do something. And we're at this point now where Disney can pretty much get anybody they want for anything. I mean, look at what they've done with Star Wars, with Mandalorian, and how diverse the actors and directors are, and how much it's expanding, and where they're going. And I think it's just a matter of time before Edgar Wright announces that he's working with Disney again on something. Whether it's Marvel Studios, or whether it's, you know, something new for Disney, or something in the Star Wars realm, who really knows? I could honestly see him delivering a pretty decent Silver Surfer. I, I just don't know why, but I think he would have the uh, stylistic approach to it that lends hard into that Jack Kirby vision. And since Norrin Rad is somewhat disconnected from Marvel very early on, I think he would have a unique approach that could lend itself towards it. And then who knows what could happen. I mean, here, I'll make a prediction. He'll be back for something starring Cassie Lang. There you go. If it ain't right, it ain't right. <sighs>